Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Monster Hunter World Iceborne on Playframe. Gwibbers has a new outfit doing a Puke cosplay and I love it very much. It's very cute. Also, Dan and Lady Jingle are here. Dan, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Me too. I'm happy to be back in Monster Hunter with a Dan. Just chilling, hunting monsters. Yeah. That's the life for me. <laughs> I'm eating food out here in sort of like the solo camp just to see the cutscene again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good call. Sometimes Good call. you have to. Totally understandable. It's important. It's been a little while. Boy, it is making me hungry, though. Never fails. I did uh, I did just eat before this, and um, I, I made an absolute <laughs> mistake of a meal oh no um <laughs> so <laughs> i was trying to make um i i had i had some some spam and rice and egg all right all right and then I, I i bought some um seaweed roll like wrap Ooh, okay because i was like oh maybe maybe i'll like uh, i'll do a little like spam uh, masubi thing or like or try to actually make it just like a little sushi thing so i like tried to roll it up and I don't know if there's like a proper way of of like a certain side of the seaweed you need to use or something, mm. but like the seaweed <laughs> was it was like the hardest, not the hardest substance. It was it was the toughest substance known to man. I could not oh. bite through it and like rip it. So it was sort of like so, a jerky sort of thing, just a very thin yeah. jerky. <laughs> It was just like 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 rice and egg and spam just gushed out the sides of my like makeshift burrito. Oh, oh no! Until it just I was like, okay, I'm just I'm just eating this with chopsticks out of my burrito shell because I can't get the seaweed. <laughs> oh no! Was it was the rest good at least? Oh, it was delicious. The food it was flavor wise it was great. Excellent. But it if you looked at it, it looked like I did just like like. If my burrito was the equivalent of like Oogie Boogie dying in the Nightmare Before Christmas, if like the bugs was the rice, like just a, just a bed sheet or just like a, a sack of seaweed left. I was not prepared for that visual, but that's <laughs> that's it's evocative imagery. Just totally separated and and disappointing looking. Oh, thank you for that. That is a very funny to picture. <laughs> Just oogie boogie, but tasty. Yeah. <laughs> also, so, so major spoilers for Night Before Christmas. <laughs> Can we get a big spoiler warning on the screen? Yes, we'll get spoiler so tape sorry. on screen, by the way. We got to oh, talk about geez. Nightmare Before Christmas. So back in the 90s. <laughs> Tim Burton was still doing his thing. Having a grand old time. I should watch that. It's been a while. Yeah. Hey, the good news is I can just come with you on this one. Really? Oh, nice. Yeah, it's just, it's just it let me sign up, and I was like, oh, I was waiting. Cool. Yeah, I guess since this is one of the monsters that uh, you can bump into randomly while doing other hunts, they don't have to do a whole cutscene for it. Yeah, wasn't it like the Bonbaro quest or something was like there was at least one other one that was kind of like that I feel like yeah gonna do the smart thing and actually drink my armor skin and demon drug and all that stuff ahead of time cannot get enough of this Gwibber's outfit <laughs> it's really cute it's really cute all right, drink my hot drink. Get all toasty. All nice and toasty. Yeah, what do you think is that hot drink? Is it? Mmm. Yeah, what flavors are we getting in that? So we know that we like it gets made out of some spicy pepper stuff that we harvest out here. So there's definitely like hot spice involved. But flavors wise, they got to add some sweetness or something in there. Mm hmm. It's like a spicy V8. Ooh. Like or something kind of maybe. Ooh, I kind of like that. Yeah, I, I was like at first thinking like thinking in a more like cinnamony sort of like uh, cidery sort of angle, but actually Ooh. I like that like spicy sort of like V8 uh, idea even more. 
I do I do like the idea of like a, a cinnamon cider kind of feel. That does feel nice and warm. Yeah, with like with some good like spicy heat to it, makes you tear up a little bit. You will not be thinking about the cold anymore. Oh yeah. Love the coloring on this Anjanath. Right? I I the Anjanath is one of those like I, I enjoy the Anjanath fights. I like them. Me too. Good monster. Anjanath is good. Like, I always... I feel like... Rathian is like this... The platonic ideal of the monster hunter fight. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not to say that there aren't better or more interesting or, like, cooler fights, but, like, as a baseline, Rathian is just sort of like this perfect sweet spot. And I feel like Anjanath actually gets pretty close to that, too. It's a really good early mid game. Yeah. Like basic challenge. I think it's fun too, because it's like like it, it poses a threat and it's like big and intimidating on its own. Cause some of those early monsters where you're fighting is like Rise had that one where it's like, oh it's a bear. And I'm like, it's a little bear. <laughs> like I don't feel good about fighting this monster. <laughs> I don't feel Scared. In fact, I feel a little guilty, <laughs> if anything. That's a good question. All right, so what's the first monster in Rise that feels like, okay, no, we got us, like, I got me a worthy opponent here. Even if it's, like, early game, they're putting off worthy opponent vibes. Um, you actually fight the flagship pretty quickly, like the Magna Malo. That's true, yeah. Um, they're, they're really fun. They are fun. I'm trying to think, like, what, what else? What, what else? There's some early fights in there. There's that. Uh, I can't remember. It starts with an A, but like the, like, the bird, the, uh, like the sec, like sort of like the secretary bird, like ramped up to eleven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're they're a fun. They're they're still like, they're easy, but they're easy. It it, it kind of like starts. It's. Like they're competent, but it almost gives me like Kulu Yaku, like pathetic vibes. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I think this applies to both of us, right? Demon powder? Yeah. Nice. Oh, hi, Tigrex. You're still here. Right, sorry. I forgot. I'm glad I just put that cloak on. <laughs> <laughs> I should maybe do the same. No, different shortcut. There we go. Yeah, what's your usual, like, go-to mantle? Um, so I've got two on this, because I, I just use them for, instead of the other items. Mm -hmm. Um, the one I have on now that's bright and shiny, it auto-dodges attacks until it goes away. Oh, nice. Um, so, like, small chip damage and elemental damage will still hit me. But if you see, like, like here, I'll let me just stand in front of this guy. And you'll, and yeah, you'll see, get like... Angle here. Yeah. Or you're just, like, auto... Yeah, just auto-dodging. It just, it just does, like, an auto-little, like, flip. That is cool. Um, but it, it doesn't last, like, super long. Uh, but it's very nice for, like, okay, I can just get in there and kind of not worry about dodging and just oh he came back for that i forgot that's what he did yeah he like comes back for a return trip he really does <laughs> um and the other one i have is the rock steady which is like one of my favorite things <laughs> But it, it is, it is, uh, it is peak Dan Jones where high risk, high reward. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> nothing can flinch you while wearing it, but you take all the damage from stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's high risk, especially late game. Yeah, so even like stuff that would knock you back normally and like, oh, like, you'll have to recover from that. You'll just be like, boom, 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 instant, like three damage and just get knocked out. Goodness. But the true charge slashes, they come through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like how we both were just like, yeah, let's fight the T-Rex. 
Yeah, this is it's here. What are we gonna do? Not fight it? <laughs> it started it. Honestly, T-Grex was the monster that convinced me, like, alright, maybe maybe it is Lance time. Yeah, yeah. Because he's just so in your face, but like, boy, that Lance just trivializes him. <laughs> Yeah, his little uh, when he when he does the that little like the 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 crawl into a crawl is so mean. Oh yeah, it's a real mean. Especially if you're yeah just having to manage to dodge it, just get to the side of it. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't dodged one of those in a long time. I don't remember how you're supposed to. <laughs> just sort of like block. <laughs> Ow. Some say. Monster hunters are still trying to dodge it to this day. Ow. Yeah, that one right there. That little... Yep. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, his tail's nice. off. I'm satisfied. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> it left a message. Yeah. Oh, hey, look oh. who's back. <laughs> he was like, oh, my turn. <laughs> He's coming for the kill steal. <laughs> Time for your beating, okay. He's all covered in snow on one side. That's cool. That is really cool. Yeah, there are certain monsters like Baroth and Diablos and Tigrex. And I guess Baroth to a slightly lesser degree where, like, Lance feels like it makes them so much less scary. Yeah. So charge doesn't matter. Ooh. Look at you all lightning and glowy. Hey, little guys. It's not the good time. There's a lot of lightning going on back there. Look how cool that looks. That looks awesome. Oh, you. There's no other team tops, like, just the monster and creature animation that Monster Hunter folks do. Like, FromSoft can give them a run for their money. But, man. They just feel, like, so natural, too. Yeah. Oh, I'm stunned. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Oh, no. Everything's fine. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> no consequences. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not just that they're, like, cool looking and, like, all fun to fight. But yeah, that they do while doing all that, they look up. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. They look like just really natural and uh, not realistic, but like a heightened realism. And this is a really great way. Yeah. I love it. No, that's right. You're not doing a whip around. You're just tail slamming back there. Oops. Did it a little early. I gotta remember the buttons for... I know how to, like... Clutch Claw up onto the monster and uh, tenderize him and stuff like that. I need to recall how to run him into a wall, though. That's some good consistent damage to do. That I, I forgot you could even do. <laughs> It's one of those things that, um, oops, that, like, when I was first starting Iceboard and feeling like, boy, it takes a long time to kill things. <laughs> that's because I didn't realize at the time the game's expecting you to run them into some walls. <laughs> Do seven or 800 damage a pop. What is a really good true charge 
swing for you do these days with that, like, end game gear and everything. Oh. Nice. Um, it definitely varies. I like the aim. Like, I, 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 I don't know if my numbers in my head are off, but like, I felt like I was doing at least four figures, like at least a thousand stuff, but. Ooh. I don't know if I really ever get that high and I'm just misremembering because usually like if I get a true charge off, it's it's at least over 500. And yeah, it would like wake like wake up damage that would double it. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that will get you into like four digits. Wake up. Wake up is like. I, I need to see at least 1500 for me to be satisfied. <laughs> like, <laughs> I want to get the little T-Grex. Yeah, where'd that tail go? He's over, but he's taking a nap by the, the pop, the, the spa. <laughs> oh, he's back. He saw us carving his tail and got mad. No, waste not, want not, T-Grex. Should you rather we just leave it? Yeah. I'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> He's throwing a real tantrum about it right now, but yeah, I think he'll burn himself out of steam any minute now. Oh, thanks, Quivers. But no, let's go be helpful with the actual monster we've been assigned. Who's looking very sleepy. Come here. Oh, I don't have no, no ammo. That's what happened. Boy, I just love it standing still like this. I can just poke, poke, poke all day. You just sit here like an annoying sibling on a long car trip. Poke, poke, poke. It's making my own fun. Ow! That looks cool. Boy, I've loved every, like, Iceborne variant. <laughs> right. So far, just the coloring, the new moves and, like, elements and stuff they bring out. Felt like they were really cooking. They were cooking. Mm hmm. Let's look at all that. Whew. He glow. Now oh, the mouth glowing too. It's amazing. So mad. Oh, I'm glad we're doing this. I know it's been years since I started this mm -hmm. playthrough, but just for the privilege of seeing more of these uh, monsters in action. Yeah. It's amazing. to look back and refresh. I don't even know if a uh, Lance user is able to clutch claw mount without it being a counter attack. I might not be able to. So for me, 
its left trigger into B. I yeah, I must be able to. That's like a basic function. And then, um, and then once you're up there, like I'm still trying to remember some of that, but it, once you're up on there, Y is weapon attack. Yeah. Right trigger is like unload your ammo for the the flinch to get them into a wall. I think. Maybe B is just like smack them to turn them around. Maybe, maybe something like that. We're gonna figure this out together. Yeah, I'm definitely totally forgetting until like just now. That's <laughs> what I've been kind of messing with this entire fight. I was like, how oh, do I do this? We'll figure it out. If not this hunt, next one. That'll be our homework. Because yeah, I'm definitely like, oh, just uh, just fight the monster. Of course, yes. That's definitely the mode that I get into as well. <laughs> Except my variant is like, just fight the monster, but poorly. And slowly. Slow and steady wins the race. That's right. Oh, I did get him out, though. Why am I running toward the T-Rex? That's nothing. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Slow and steady. <laughs> Oh, I'm nice and ready by the time you get here. Excellent. Any second, it'll let me do the big attack. Any second. Here we go. And right, he's coming down. Like that right there was 500 and that was an extra 200. Just Ooh. for those. Awesome. See the big hit? Oh, Aww. I missed the big. I missed the big. Oh, but we got you. Fall over. Okay, right there. That was a 830. Whoo. That's a big number. Okay. We're, we're, we're getting back. Meow. Is he ragey right now? I don't know if we can, like... I feel like I remember that wall slamming him is not possible when during a rage. Yeah, he's, he's definitely he's definitely in angry mode. Yeah. I was trying to see if I could get a, a soften up. Because I'm remembering now that was a big part of it, too, is... If you do the weapon attack, you like tenderize. get the tenderizer basically going. Yeah, yeah. And I think if you're quick enough, you can get one off. Like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it is right trigger to, uh, yeah, like uh, fire all your ammo, run them into the wall when they're not in angie mode. Tender eyes. Nope. Sometimes they're too angry. And moving too much. I'm, I disagree with that. Yeah. Slowly remembering. It's funny, I totally forgot that mechanic until you mentioned it. <laughs> Where are you going? You come back no! here. Oh. You get back here. Give chase. Oh, he's lucky. He's lucky. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm playing Pikmin now. <laughs> Alright, I'm making absolute mistakes and putting on the rock steady mantle here. Ooh. So I won't get knocked back, but they might both eviscerate me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Or okay. Just gonna chicken out, are we? Come back. Come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, T Gregs. <laughs> I have prior engagements. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, wow. Big epic jump hit. <laughs> Sweet. Still hasn't arrived. Think something might have happened? 
Carve's right over here. Sorry, it's so far away. I like how during that cutscene, the T Rex just absolutely bodying me. <laughs> He's just harassing me. If there was ever a monster who would just absolutely not fight fair, or respect rules, no honor, T Rex feels like one of them. Don't worry, I think I lost him. He has no idea where we are. <laughs> <laughs> Fight's over, Tigrex. Let it go. <laughs> He's just seeing red. <laughs> so mad. Take it easy, bud. Feeding Gwibbers a little sausage while T Rex just rages in the background. <laughs> <laughs> a good video game. It's a good game. It's a really good game. I think I think next up is also another not major fight. Ooh, alright, let's do it. We can squeeze that in. Probably sneak in that one too, yeah. Any fight that both of us are there for, I am confident we can get done in like a half episode's time. But first, cutscene. Good to see you back in one piece. Oh, I'm reading this. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> and thanks. Securing that route is huge. Celiano's up and running. It's amazing how fast everybody got the place together. Mm -hmm. I know you only just got back, but I've got news from Astera. They say even more subspe uh, subspecies never seen in the new world are suddenly crawling out of the woodwork. But with so many hunters out there, Astera's short on manpower. I don't suppose I could ask you to head back east and lend a hand. With their hands already full with rushing those fortifications to us, I'm worried somebody's going to do something crazy. But you know when to call a mission if things... Er, but you know when to call a mission if things get out of hand. I trust you, and so does everyone back at Astera. If we could get you out there, it would be a huge relief. I'd really appreciate it. Let's head to Astera. I wish I could put on a Matt Mercer voice. I can't really. <laughs> You gotta get those like, uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> That's. A, I think maybe if I, if I did, actually keep up with all of Critical Role, I think I would probably hear his voice perfectly in my head at all times. and be able to imitate the little, just the little touches. <laughs> it it definitely helps. Definitely helps. <laughs> <laughs> I might be wrong, but I do feel like they visually upgraded Celiana a little bit. That's cool. It's pretty. But okay, I should head to Astera. Let's see. You two. Oh, thank the stars you're here. Did my grandson send you? Yes, sir. The chief asked us to come see if we could help. I'm thankful. You're just the help that we needed. It wasn't long after you left that we started getting reports of the song being heard all around the New World. Soon after that, previously undiscovered subspecies appeared and wasted no time before starting to run amok. Commander, I have strong reason to believe that the song is what caused the Legiana to fly across the hinterlands. And if monsters start leaving their natural habitats, it's only natural that there are other consequences for the ecosystem. I think this is all tied back to what was written on the cloth. Song and impact on the ecosystem. Ah, yes. I've been told what was written on that cloth. It seems very likely that the Puke Puke and Paolumu subspecies were a precursor to our current troubles as well. At any rate, I'll be sure to take meticulous notes about where all these monsters have started to become active. Right. I'll leave you to it. Remember, I'm counting on you to help prepare Celiana's defenses. Good luck. More subspecies. Hmm. 
they picking up on some kind of change in the environment? Nothing can stop us. Ooh, all right. It looks like we've got two new, yeah, subspecies to go fight. Which are you most excited to contend with? A Glavinus variant or an Odogaron variant? Both are pretty fun. Both are pretty fun. Yeah. Hmm. Well, here, I'll just do them in the order they're giving them to me. It looks like Odogaron it is. Purple and red flavor. Ebony Odogaron. Mmm. It's like a... Neat. You got like a purple raspberry. Like Ooh. Berry flavored. <laughs> Wild berry Odogaron. Wild berry Odogaron, <laughs> yeah. Should go eat at the old canteen. Just sort of on a like diner crawl now, but with cats. Yeah, he's just sampling around the world. <laughs> the new world. Yeah. I'm gonna try out all the enormous foods. Yo, know, if they if they didn't go pizza, like what what other things could we expect? You know. I was just thinking, like I think I just saw seeing uh, one of the cats stirring up just like an enormous soup pot type thing like a giant hot pot thing would be rad hot pot would be good hmm but yeah now i am like wondering part of the trick i feel like if i had more of a idea of what like the setting flavor for wilds was i'd be able yeah. to like make some more guesses but like we've seen lots of sort of like more wasteland looking places and big storms and things but they've not shown us like a base i don't think yet yeah i don't think we've seen any kind of like actual base there was kind of like a, a sand skiff looking thing Ooh, okay that, that reminded me of like an old monster hunter cutscene. i think that you mm. were describing earlier yeah yeah hmm Oh, no wonder I can't go to the gathering hub. I've got the mission just set up for one now. That's nothing. <laughs> yeah, this one's waiting for a cutscene. <laughs> I wonder, actually. I never really tested it. Does, uh, are the gathering hubs like connected in the quests Hello. that like get added to the board? Yes, they are connected. They are. Yeah. Excellent. Never really tried that out. Good to know, though. There we go. Get the item set up. Yeah. I think I'll stick with the lance. I feel like I should switch over to bow for some things, but not not either of these two. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, there's there's like one hunt. I don't know if we'll we'll, we'll get to it tonight. I'm keeping a record of but I'm very excited for you. It might be Ooh. one of my favorite things from Iceborne. Oh, is it is it a like new monster? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait. All right, well we're out here and let's go. I don't know if this one has a cutscene or not. It says this one's waiting for cutscene, yeah. Okay. Let's go see this cranky thing. Bad Friends, Great Enemies. That's the name of this quest. Bad Friends, Great Enemies. Huh. It's 
pretty peaceful out here so far. I don't know. Yeah? <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Well, they must have gotten the wrong zone. <laughs> They're like, oh, the Coral Highlands? No, no, that place is fine. All the monsters left. Yeah, it's very peaceful out there. We just started building a resort. Mm. Yeah. We called it uh, the Golden Corral. <laughs> that's a that's a chain buffet restaurant for those of you who didn't get the joke. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where all the where all yeah, golden same. corrals exist. As a fellow, like as a fellow son of the southern U.S., I I know what you're talking about. Oh man, there's there's one memory I have of the Golden Corral. Like, we used to go, like a bunch of family friends and stuff. We would go for summer. And we'd rent this like lake house for a month. It would be like three or four of these, our, our families, and we'd we'd all stay in this like big like massive house that was on the edge of uh, Lake Placid. Actually, it was in the city of Lake Placid. I think the lake was like June. Anyways, um. That sounds fun. And we, yeah, we, we'd all, you know, like, we, all of us had, uh, all the families had, like, boats and stuff, so we'd go, you know, like, skiing and snow, or uh, not snowboarding, wakeboarding and, and tubing and stuff. Yeah. But one, we, it would be, like, a week-long vacation during the summer, and one of those days, we would go to the nearby Golden Corral, and it was like, man, I looked forward to that so much. I don't know why. It wasn't even, like, <laughs> great food or anything. It was just, like, became tradition, and... It's fun. Yeah, no, I definitely have, like, I feel like restaurant experiences that kid me got excited about really didn't have a whole lot to do with, like, great food a lot of the time. Like, maybe they were they would be great food, but that was not, that was not probably what got me excited. It was yeah. probably like a novel dining experience. <laughs> there, it's It's funny when I think back on, like, I couldn't tell you anything about the food, but like the Rainforest Cafe, I yeah, just remember exactly. being excited to be there. Exactly, yes. Like, I've not had Rainforest Cafe in a good while. I have no idea how good the food is, but that is yeah. exactly the sort of thing that, like, kid me would be like, heck yes, this is the best restaurant ever. I probably even had, like, chicken tenders. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I have to try the chicken tenders. <laughs> 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 Very good, sir. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> Excellent choice. Mm, yes. <laughs> would you Would you care for some ketchup on the side? Oh, yeah. Bring it in a little cup. I would absolutely love to, if I was working a server as that kind of at that kind of restaurant to like, it would get me fired for sure. But like. Just put on the character of like posh waiter at oh, yeah. gimmick restaurant. Have a good old time. Would love it. How do you how do you feel about like okay, you go to this say say like you in in today's version of you go mm -hmm. out to this nice new restaurant to try it out. Like, do you do you try like what the restaurant's known for or something like adjacent to that kind of thing? Or do you just go like, I'm going safe and, you know, give me the chicken tenders like <laughs> adult equivalent of chicken tenders. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I am definitely like usually the safe pick person trying a restaurant out. But uh, I think if, if they are known for something, if they're very known for something and that's a like clear and easy to tell, then, yeah, I probably will try that like. Now me probably will, but if I feel like up to like age 30, me would go for the safe thing every time. Yeah. I'm, I'm very much a component of like, I, I, w I will definitely try whatever the place is known for or like highly recommends kind of thing. Because what if that's my new favorite? Like, I, I, I always have that thought. I'm like, what if this new food I haven't had turns out to be my favorite thing? Totally. And honestly, it feels like the right move. And I know I'll be satisfied with the chicken tenders, but... <laughs> no, sure. <laughs> but we have those at home. Exactly, like we have those at they're, home. They're everywhere. They're at every home. 
You can't get away from the chicken tenders. <laughs> Just swimming in these things. That's what we we need an It Follows movie, but it's restaurants <laughs> have serving chicken tenders. <laughs> okay, I've found... I've found... Eh. I'm trying to think of Lady the... Jingle right, is like, en route. Fitting descriptor. Singed... Sort of burnt Odogaron. A, a, a mild charring. Charred, that's the term I was looking for. <laughs> it's like a... Uh, in my opinion, the, the better roasted marshmallow. A little mm. bit of char. Just a little bit of char. I was always like... like the pure golden mushroom or not mushroom uh marshmallow is is of course fantastic but i feel like the effort versus just a quick little roasting and charring like yeah i think i'd rather just go for the quick the quick and easy and, and get pretty much the same satisfaction it's like steaks really <laughs> like yes <laughs> you could go for the well done cook or Go for a nice medium rare. Yeah. A nice little bit of singeing on the outside, like searing, sealing the flavor. That's what you I got mean. yourself a marshmallow. Boom. Now you're thinking with marshmallow. <laughs> I forgot there was a like rope lift thing on this map. I oftentimes forget that as well. Oh, his meat. He left his meat over here. Oh no. It's gonna be so hungry. And the coloring on this is so cool. I love the little, very subtle little like teal touches, kind of around the red on the skin. That's really cool. His his tail is like gusher adjacent. <laughs> it is very gusher colored. <laughs> So I'm gonna just keep jumping on you <laughs> while you guys fight. Yeah, like this feels like a not safe place to be, and yet I'm not getting hurt. Oh, somehow. <laughs> that wow. was amazing. That's so cool. <laughs> These turf wars are such an amazing addition. They're really incredible. Oh, he's he was not done. He's like, where are you going? I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> So speaking of restaurant food bravery, I, so I'm definitely the kind of person where like, once I do find a thing that I like at a food place, I may never try anything else there ever again. That just becomes the like the restaurant I go to for this food. Oh yeah. I think that's totally fair. Yeah. <laughs> Even though maybe, maybe there's something there that I actually would like better, but I may never find out. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I tend to kind of pick and choose because there there will be days where I'm like, oh, I'm going to this restaurant I love for, you know, like maybe maybe I go there and I love the jambalaya they got, you know, like, Ooh. but but I find myself at the restaurant and then I'm like, you know, I'm not feeling jambalaya today. And, uh, you know, maybe I, I try something new. But typically, I'll only find myself there if I want to jump alive to begin with, you know? Exactly. That's like, that's the reason you go. It's like, oh, I'm not in the mood for jambalaya, so I, I go somewhere else. His tail's nice and tenderized. That tail's coming off right here. Ready? It, here it goes. Oh, oh, come on. That was a five hundo. You guys, you back for more? I was really hoping that that one poke I did afterward with the lance did it. <laughs> that would have been absolutely <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> just needed two or three more. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Nargakuga, can you just not? Just please go away. You loosened up the pickle jar for me. All right, well, I'm going to break your tail if you can stay around. <laughs> And then that's your fault. I like this jingle lore. Like if a 
other monster comes up. You don't have to, like, hunt them all the way. Just, you're gonna take their tail, though, just to, as a trophy and as a lesson. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a prove a point to them. <laughs> the point is, they could have walked away at any time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did this to you. <laughs> Now. No, that's not what I want to hit. I get to the tail. Ooh, that's Soften a that stun spot. Oh, thank Soften you, Samson. Up the tail. There we go. mad very upset it's gonna be even more mad when I take off his tail right here there goes the tail oh well now it now, now it's doing a little poke come on you don't need that tail anymore come on don't be greedy thank you I mean, your tail poke per minute is soaring through the roof right now. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of opportunities. But every single one's for like... 38 damage, 48 damage. <laughs> and a one, and a two. Triple digits aren't really a thing that I see... as a Lance user. <laughs> Quadruple di digits I don't think exist. I've heard of them, but only like in Legend. Tall tails. Boy, I really love that counter grab clutch claw thing. I will miss that in the next game. Mm hmm. I wonder what the new gimmick will be. I'm very glad that they're bringing, like, bringing rises, like, in a free-roaming mount Palamute thing to Wilds. That I'm excited about, because that was great. Who else is... That sounds like, like, yep, yep, yep. Like, Yona, I've honestly had enough of y'all <laughs> for a few hunts, maybe. I don't think, like, you can even break their tail, either. I think just break it. I don't think so. You're lucky. <laughs> you win this <laughs> round, like, yeah. <laughs> Soon as we figure out... Leggy on a tail cut technology. Oh, you're running now, huh? I guess they learned. You get back here. <laughs> <laughs> we are easily distracted hunters who do need to sharpen. Yep. I was like, oh, I'm in blue? Disgusting. I was down to yellow on this thing. All these pokes. Whee! Oh. Narcook is mad. <laughs> why, why are they so mad? What could we have done? <laughs> it's like, what? Damn. Can't counter you if you miss. Oof. Goodness. That went right over my head. Yeah, it barely missed me too, and I'm glad, because it was very spicy looking. You're moving too much. Ow. You can't hit your tail when you move this much. I'm just gonna crouch over here for a bit. Don't look at me. I forgot that those have inflicted bleed or whatever that effect is called. Yeah.
That needs softening up. Damn. Don't bite. Or hit. Ow, or double hit. Gracious. Inflatable little distraction is incredible. Mm -hmm. Still love it. It is, uh, it is my lifesaver, man. <laughs> it has helped me out so much. I bet. Oh, don't you, you run. Runs. Don't you do it. Ah, oh. no. How, how are we supposed to get your tail if you keep running? Choo choo. Come back. Oh, nice. Release. You know, if I just keep on doing one damage to it over and over and over and over, then. Oh. Well, now I can't reach it. Oh. <laughs> Cheating. Maybe if I clip it. There's a floor. <laughs> We can figure this out. Oh, that was good. That was a there. spicy. Yeah. There we go. See? All right. Now. What did you learn? <laughs> I really, I really just want to teach this Naruto a lesson now. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, there was a big 700. Nice. Yeah, I think I got like 119 damage once <laughs> on a tenderized face with a counter hit. <laughs> I'm going to tenderize that face. Between the three pokes. Oh, hey, look who is feeling ignored. Oh. Now I'm just starting to feel bad for the Nargakuga. <laughs> Can you stop roaring me off your face? All right. And it's running. What more can we do? I don't even know what element this is that it's throwing at us. I guess it's thunder. I think it's dragon. Oh, dragon. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. Because I remember Next. I think he's one of like the few dragon using elemental. Yeah, you don't see that very often. Goodness. I'm just uh, softening up that hide a bit. Sounds like a very useful plan. Sheesh. Chill. Ow. Here we. Goodness. I do feel like we're starting to hit our stride now, though. That feels nice. Yeah, we're 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 getting back. We're we're starting to monster hunt a little bit. We now go. we're hunting with gas. <laughs> Let's sharpen while you <laughs> making me think of. Hank Hill as a monster hunter. <laughs> That's a fun thought. <laughs> clutch claw and clutch claw accessories. <laughs> uh, okay, now, like, 
Now, now I just wanted to think of, you know, what other good, like, uh, animated TV series or TV sitcom characters need to become Monster Hunter characters. Because this is a... Yeah. This has great potential. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking. Running away. Yep. Gonna remember to tail carve this time though. Where to get where'd that Nargakuka one go? Oh yeah. Uh Some, it's somewhere, somewhere around here. Bushes. There it is. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. the wrong button. I I pulled a Elden Ring button to gather. <laughs> That's gonna be our lives for the next while. <laughs> Look at him walking by, by in shame. <laughs> he doesn't That's even right. want to fight with us. Oh, you want to? <laughs> what? You want to start something? Up, oh, up. Oh. I heard you. We're right here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Walk away. <laughs> Talking big. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's just he growled at us and walked away. He's like, yeah, he's like a house cat. in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's going away to sulk. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, hi. I didn't even see you there. <laughs> Just snuck right up. You really did. Man, Samson's got that taunt ready to go. He's just... Yeah. Samson loves that thing as much as I do. I know. Me, me too. He has, a, he has like two other things he can do with the the shield. Um, one of them is like he can do a bash Ooh. with it. And then he can also do... Um, he can taunt with it himself. That's cool. But he definitely likes going for the... the the little mimic. I really should experiment with more of the uh, Palico toys. Like, uh, just that healing and reviving tool has been such a godsend. <laughs> yeah. Especially going solo. I need to try the others, though, because I feel like some good offense might... Oops make all the difference. Let's get a little power nap real fast. <sighs> Ow. Thanks, Quivers. Oh, did you get sleep trimmed? Yeah, yeah, the little... The sleep uh, toad? Sleep toad. Big hit. Oh! Not as big as I was expecting. Only 600. <laughs> Only. Rookie numbers. Yeah. My brain is still kind of like using 30% power just to think on other characters who could be <laughs> Very fun random NPCs. Yeah, I, for some reason I keep hyper fixating on Krusty the Clown being a hammer user, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I could absolutely see, well, even with just some of the existing animations, just sort of a hey, hey! It's like a you swing. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's like the hammer is one of those, like, it's just a wooden mallet, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Going for the big, like, spin to win, doing the lap. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Simpsons characters. There's a, there's a lot of good ones in that mix. Uh, I've been stuck on Teddy from Bob's Burgers. I'm just trying to figure out where <laughs> and doing oh, what. I feel okay, like he'd probably Teddy. be back at base somewhere. He'd probably just be parked forever at the, uh, I guess that's just Teddy the character, but parked forever just wherever the cats are cooking food talking to them, distracting them from their work, kind of annoying them. <laughs> He's the handler. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
a pod. I think there's a new kind of Elkata out of the out of the wastes. We better get out there. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it, the, the Narga Kuga, man, you got it. You got to keep out. He's gonna. He's got sharp wings and claws. I know. I don't know if it's safe out there. <laughs> I don't know where to find it, partner. <laughs> That part's not my job. God, I wish I could do a tiny voice. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Whee! Boing. Just running around in Monster Hunter World feels so cool. I love that they made the choice of like, you do all of your traversal stuff, barely touching any buttons, just run in the direction and your hunter will handle all of that. Yeah. But like the small details for you. Ow. Did he really just go back down? And he what? came back down. Oh, <laughs> peekaboo. Wait, wait, hey. I do love the little animation of just like, chewing his way through the floor. <laughs> but hey, guy, we can fight or, um... Okay. It's the second we go down there, he's coming up. Guaranteed. Yep, there he goes. Oh, I see that the taunt thing is down here. Beautiful. I should work traps into my regular play more. I was like, oh, I do have some on my menu. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He's, he's going back for more. He's got to teach them that taunted thing a lesson. <laughs> That darn thing again, it's back. Ow. Ow. Goodness. Spicy. So cool looking. Ow. Yeah, oh, nicely wow. done. I was just, I was weakening up his face. Successfully hunted. Amazing work. And you did a very good job of it. Face weakened. Face weakened. <laughs> Got the face. Yeah, it was going a lot better with two Dan's. Yeah, we even got an extra tail. Yeah. A souvenir. A souvenir. We're home. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot you could do this. Yeah, yeah. Mount on those guys. I've uh, also had forgotten yeah. as like a way to just follow after them while sharpening and everything. If it wasn't in Rise, I guess I just don't remember it now. And I didn't even play that much Rise. Yeah, it's one of those like it's definitely not as useful because. You can't just control it, right? You just gotta go off yeah, of yeah. whatever you're tracking. But it is cool to see the like the bones of the pallet mute. Right? Like, yeah. Kind yeah. Of form from that. Sort of just the iteration on the idea and it keeps on improving and improving. Mm-hmm. Man, that that the roll for the the gems every time you get one in your appraisal box is like, mm -hmm. oh, it's bringing me back, Dan. It's bringing me back. <laughs> You're hooked again. It's a good thing that uh, <laughs> it's a good thing that I still got a lot of this that I still need to go through because in getting your help on it, I am definitely <laughs> you are back on or off the wagon. However, that saying goes, <laughs> whichever one means you're stuck now. I'm stuck. Yeah, I don't know where the wagon is, but I'm, <laughs> I'm involved. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will see you all and 
maybe we'll have figured out how the wagon thing works next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll be back to fight some kind of Glavinus. I don't even know what kind. Next weekend. Mm -hmm. Have yourselves a good one while I figure out how to wave it through. Here we go. And Quibbers is still waving at me because we're still, we're still working on it. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.